Hello, church family. I'm, well, I'll give you my real name. It's James Ross, but everybody here knows me as Soupy, and this is my beautiful wife. In 12 weeks, we'll be 52 years. So we're really proud of that. Yeah, we would like to give our testimony on sacrificial giving. When Brother Clay told us about the second mile offering, I remember back in the year 2000 or sometime around then, before we built this beautiful state-of-the-art auditorium we're all so comfortable in, our pastor at that time, Dr. James Hill, and our staff at that time included Brother Dale, were led to lead us in what we called the Macedonian miracle. Brother Hill taught us about sacrificial giving. Yes, that means to give till it hurts. He requested us to pray about this offering and see what size offering the Holy Spirit was inspiring you to give. He said, now if you are a married couple, each one of you pray separately, then when you come up with an amount, discuss it with your spouse. If you have two different amounts, well, go with a higher one. Well, we did that. I thought I had this. Then Jean Ann came up with a total that was twice the amount I had come up with. My first instinct was no way. Then the Holy Spirit convicted me and brought me to mind Malachi 3, 6, 10. It says, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob, Yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offering. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me even this whole nation. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up for you the windows of heaven and pour out on you such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. The part about try me really sunk in. So I surrendered and put my faith in Jesus. We were planning to start to build our home and decided to put it on hold. The amount we agreed to, agreed on, was going to take several years to achieve. You see, we had a huge campaign going on church-wide and we all met at the Civic Center in Bossier one particular Sunday because at that time our sanctuary was not big enough for all of us to meet in. That is what we now call the well. On that day, the church offering for one Sunday, the church offering was $100,000. So we were committing to this project to build this sanctuary. So. We got this underway. We were fulfilling our obligation that we committed to. And in 2006, we started construction on our house. Me being a builder, I weighed the cost and I established our budget. No more, no less. So then it was time to put our house we were living in on the market. Now at this time, I had not even broken ground on our new house. So within two weeks, uh, listing the house on the market, mm -hmm. we were made an offer. They offered us around 15000 more than what we were asking. Mm -hmm. But the stipulation was we had to get out in about two weeks. Yeah. So I hadn't even started yet, as I said. So we had to rent a place. So it's not easy building your own home when you have others to build for that are paying customers that you have to satisfy. So I had unexpected costs and as we progressed I could see we were going to run out of money. I didn't want to borrow any more 
money than what we had all had figured on when we got to completion after checking all my subs and suppliers to be sure they were paid i checked our account that we have to build the house with there was money left over <clears throat> there was enough money left over jean ann was able to buy You've got this. <laughs> Jeanette was able to buy new furniture to put in our new home. This was a life-changing experience. Not only did God meet our material needs, but he grew our faith to mount mounting moving faith. We didn't give expecting to receive anything in return. Now, I've been to death's door with this one here three times. She had to go through my surgery a little over a year and a half ago. Our faith never altered. So what I'm saying is don't miss this opportunity at this time to receive a blessing far more than you will ever imagine. You cannot outgive God. And he'll give you more than resources. He'll give you peace of mind and trust. Yes. Thank you. We love you all.